shoulders, etc. Okay, so we're going to do our normal. We're going to reach up as high as we can. Reach up really high. And then you're going to come right back down. And you're slowly going to come down there. And then you're going to uncurl right back up to the top. So we're only warming up at the moment. So I don't want you to focus on going too low down when you come down. Not just straight away anyway, okay? Take your time. Really slow transitions, okay? Transition very slow from top to bottom, okay, guys? Let's go. Take your time. Right up. Each time as high as you possibly can. Get right up on those tiptoes. And then curl right down. Good work, everybody. Right down. Let's start to go a little bit lower now. Let's start to go a little bit lower as we come down. Good work, guys. And up even higher each time as you come up, okay? We're going to go for about another 20 seconds. Keep this going. Let's go a little bit lower now as we come down to the bottom, guys. A little bit lower at the bottom. And higher at the top as well, okay? Now, at the bottom, I want you to come down. And I want you to bend your legs slightly. And I want you to put your hands in behind your shins. And I want you to pull yourself down into it, okay? So bend your knees slightly for this one and pull yourself down into it. So your hands will go behind your shins this time, okay? Or behind your calf muscles and you'll pull yourself down. Bring your hands around to the front and grab each elbow. Just grab each elbow and just swaying left to right there, okay? In a bit of a rag dog motion, okay? Just let yourself hang there. Good work, guys. Well done. Slowly come back up out of that now, guys. Slowly come back up out of that. So, from here... We're going to be working on an exercise that we're going to evolve in a few weeks time we just want to get the basic version right first okay we have done it it's our single leg rdl into a t position so up like this here looking forward stretch the back leg out the back and stretch your hands forward so you're trying to good get your feet going one way and your hands stretching the opposite way okay so staying on one leg so take your time folks so take your time pick a point in front Stretch the fingertips forward and stretch the foot back. If you can, try and come back down without touching the foot off the ground. Hold it for one or two seconds when you're up there. Bring the leg right through to this position here. Don't worry, if you need to touch your foot, it's no problem. See if you can do the whole lot without touching the foot off the ground. Hold it for two seconds at the top. Good work, everybody. Get that leg nice and high, completely straightened out, okay? Good work, guys. Well done. Take your time. Take your time. And this one, we're going to come up and we're going to hold it. We're going to stay up there this time, okay? So up we come, everybody. Pick a point in front. Get that leg nice and high. And stretch those fingertips forward, okay? Stretch the foot away at the back. 10 more seconds. Let's hold it up there. For five, four, three, two, one. Well done, guys. Good work, okay? So again, that's an exercise we're going to do every week that we progress weekly, okay? And eventually, we're going to turn that into, um, are we going to come up? Or we're going to be rotating, rotating as well. Not today, but in a few weeks' time. We want to get really good. We want to get really good at that one first. When we're really good at that one in two or three weeks' time, we'll add the rotations in as well, okay? So we're going to swap legs, guys. We're going to swap legs. Knee forward. 
and then we reach forward and reach back with the leg. Come forward, try and come through with the knee each time and try and do the whole lot, keeping the foot off the ground if you can. Well done everybody. Good work guys, well done. Make sure to get that leg as high as you can at the back. Really good, everybody take your time. Well done, make sure you get that knee at the front. Get the leg really high at the back, guys. Get that leg high at the back. You're trying to stretch that toe away from yourself and the arms, the fingertips and the toes are pulling the body apart, okay? Good work, guys. Let's go for a couple more. And now on the last one, we'll hold this up for 20 seconds as well, okay? Three, two, one, and let's go. Well done, everybody. Really good work. 10 more seconds. Stretch those fingertips away. Keep that leg up at the back. For six, five, four, three, two, one. Well done, everybody. Good work. So guys, just from there, we're gonna go into a windmill sequence, okay? A windmill side bend. So we're gonna start off with the basic windmill. So I want your feet as wide as you can get them, okay? Feet really wide, okay? Very basic windmill, you lean forward from the hips and we're gonna go left and right, okay? So take your time, slow it down guys, slow it down, slower. And I want you trying to reach the hand to the opposite ankle or opposite foot and get that other arm directly up into the air. Try and look up at your top hand. Look up at your top hand as you come around. Good work, everybody. And come back up to the top very slowly. Just from there, keep your feet nice and strong, nice and wide. You're gonna take your right hand, your right hand here. Left hand is gonna come up over the top. Let's go right down, guys. You're not coming forward with that left hand. It's going up over the top. You slide that right hand down as far down your leg as you can. Feel that whole stretch up here. Back to the top. Switch sides. So going up over the top as far as you can, guys. Well done. Good work, everybody. Back to the top. We're going to do three on each side. Let's see if we can go deep breath in, breathe out. Let's see if we can go a little bit further this time. Well done guys, good work. Switch back again, good work everybody. Really good everybody, well done. Last time now, a little bit further, a little bit further. And last one now over, let's go. Last time, let's go as far as we can, right down that leg and reach that arm as high over the top as you can. And relax back to the top. Just from here, we're gonna bend forward for this one and you're gonna bring one hand onto the ground. You're gonna try and get one hand to the ground. Now, if you're struggling to get to the ground, you might need that cushion or something that you have, put that on the ground, but if you can, bring your feet wider as well, okay? So the wider the feet, the easier it is to get to the ground, okay? One hand to the ground, the other hand up in the air, and you're trying to look up at that top hand, and we stay in that position, okay? So try and really rotate, try and get a straight line going from the bottom hand through to the top hand, and we hold that position, everybody. Hold that plate position. Now we're gonna stay there, keep trying to straighten that top hand, and try and reach for the ceiling with that top hand, everybody. Try and reach for the ceiling. For five, four, three, two, one. Back up nice and tall. Back up tall for a second. And then we go the opposite side. Let's go. Right up. Good work, 
work everybody. Five, four, three, two, one. And rest, shuffle your feet back in, pedal your feet back left and right. So one more exercise to do in this sort of warm up section, okay? Do a bit of work for our shoulders, okay? So we're gonna come on to a kneeling position. You're gonna be up nice and tall. And what we're going through here is we're just gonna be bringing our hands, thumbs forward, up we come as high as we can, keep the abs braced, okay? And then they're gonna rotate out. And as you rotate, your thumbs are going to be rota rotating. So now when you come to the back, your thumbs are actually facing back and your palms are facing out, okay? So as you rotate, guys, as you rotate, you come to here and you're trying to pull your hands back as far back as possible, really slow as you rotate and your thumbs are facing back at the bottom and then you reverse that back to the top, back down but I want you to go really slowly through the movement, okay? Really slowly through it, okay? So again, away we go, guys, let's go. So thumbs are up, come to the top, abs and squeeze your glutes really tight, keep the abs and glutes really tight the whole way through this. And then we come out, pulling the arms back as far as you possibly can, pull them back, pull them back, pull them back. And then make sure the palms are facing out at the bottom. And then reverse really slowly, really slowly. Back to the top and back down to the start. Now let's go again, guys. Let's go very slowly up. Now really slowly rotate them. Rotate and come back. Let's go, down we go. Pull them wider, pull them back further. And relax. Keep that going now, guys. Really, really slow, okay, right? Very important exercise because a lot of people sit in a bad posture all week and we get our shoulders get very, very tight and get very, very weak, okay? And so it's very, very important just from this perspective to work and loosen out those shoulders. So take your time, really re make sure your palms are facing out and your thumbs are facing backwards at the bottom, okay? Slow it down, guys. Take your time with those shoulders, okay? Take your time. I'm going to spend about another 30 seconds in this one, guys. Another 30 seconds. So take your time. Good work, everybody. Well done. Make sure those thumbs are facing back at the bottom. Thumbs are facing back. Slowly, guys. Well done, everybody. Let's go for one more really slow. One really slow, everybody. Come on. Abs tight, squeeze your bum muscles. As slow as you can, well done guys, good work. And relax, okay? So we're gonna take that into a bit more on the shoulders but a bit more on the neck now, okay? So we're gonna go from here. You're gonna have both hands, grab both hands behind this here. You're gonna pull you're gonna pull your right hand across the body so your left elbow is out by your side, okay? So you pull that across, so keep going, guys, follow my lead. So your left elbow is out by your side. And then from there, so pull that right hand right around. And then I want you to drop your left ear, left ear down. So you're dropping your left ear down, okay? And you should feel that up the side of the right part of the neck, the right part of the shoulder. Okay, now stay there, don't over push it, but you'll feel that up your trap, the top of the shoulder and into the neck and that, okay guys. So take your time, spend a bit of time there. Now if you're comfortable there, you can start, stay there, but lift your chin up and then drop your chin back down. Stay in that tilted position, but very slow movements, guys. Stay in that stretch position. And feel that working, that tightness and that, that, that crampy bits into the neck, okay? Again, a lot of us are sitting down at home all day at the moment on a computer. So it's very important we work on the neck, okay? Last few seconds, guys. And slowly come back to the top. And now we'll switch sides. So bring your hand the opposite way, okay? Good work. Same thing, pull that left hand across behind the body. 
and then drop your shoulder, drop your ear to the right. And now if you were okay on the right hand side, if you're okay on the other side, you can start lifting the chin up and down. Very slowly though guys, very slowly. Take your time. Okay, so up and down really slowly. Good work guys. Good work everybody. Last few seconds. Four, three, two, one. Okay, guys. Well done, everybody. So we're going to be working a lot now on the hips, and we're going to go into a downward facing dog into a pigeon series. Okay, you'll be familiar with these. Fairly familiar with these exercises, anyway. Okay. So you're going to be onto your mats, guys. You're going to come onto your downward facing dog position. So that's when you bring your heels towards the ground. And you come into this position here, okay? So guys, whenever we're ready, so let's go. So up we go, get those hips nice and high. And up we go, push those hips up into the seat, towards the ceiling. And when you're there, you can start walking the knees, walking the feet towards the ground. So alternating. So bend one knee forward and push the other, push the other heel towards the ground. Up nice and high with those hips, guys. Good work everybody. And just pause back at the start position guys, good work. From here, you have two options, you can stay here or you can go into a three-legged version. So you can bring your right heel up into the air and we push that right leg nice and high, okay? Trying to really extend that right leg up into the air as high as we possibly can, okay? Both legs stay as straight as you possibly can. Get that right heel higher, guys. Push, keep pushing your chest down. Keep it going, guys. Try and push your heel up towards the ceiling. You try and touch that heel off the ceiling, guys, okay? Let's go. Back down. We go left leg. Left leg up into the air. Hold it there, guys. Keep pushing that left leg towards the ceiling, guys. Let's go. Back down. And then slowly drop the knees back down to the ground, guys. Drop the knees back down to the ground. Well done. Just from here, I'm going to get you to bring your right leg forward now. Bring the right leg forward to this position here. Very important guys, you sort of listen to the teaching points going forward, okay? So right leg forward, now bring that right leg across the front of your body, okay? Bring that right leg across the front of your body. So it's parallel, it should be parallel with the front of the mat, okay guys? Good work everybody. So the right leg, so just from the front. So the right leg should be across the front, like this here. Good work. And then from there, slide your left leg back as far as you can, and we're going to stay up nice and tall, guys, in this position, okay? Just for a second. Now, see if you can slide that left leg back a little bit further, okay? So, so this may be enough for you from a stretch position, but if you can, we're going to come down a bit lower, right down into it, into that position, and we're gonna stay at whatever point suits you. If you can come down onto the elbows or if you can go right down onto the forearms with your head. So we're gonna stay here for about 45 seconds, okay? Feel a really good stretch. Keep pushing that left leg back to really get that stretch in around the hip, okay? Good work, everybody. Stay down, guys. Just nice, relaxed breathing when we're down there. Last few seconds of this, guys. Just enjoy it when you're down there. Feel those hips stretching out, everybody. And then slowly come back up to this top position here. 
Now, some of you will be able to do this. Some of you will have to stay in this position here, guys. We stay up nice and tall. So the weight should be on your, on your hips mainly. And I'm, I'm only balancing on my fingertips. I'm still pushing most of the weight onto my legs, okay? Now, if you can, only if you can, are you going to bring the left leg up and you're going to reach behind with the left hand and you're going to rotate and you're going to hold that position, okay? So you're going to stay up nice and tall. For a lot of you, it may be sufficient to stay here. That, that would be fine. But if you can, you're going to reach around with your left hand and bring that left foot up, okay? Good work, everybody. And then you're going to rotate your body around. The left shoulder goes back towards that left leg. Good work, guys. Stay in that position. Whichever suits you, guys, you can stay in the pigeon position or you can go into that sort of mermaid twist as well, okay? Whichever suits you. Hold that for five, four, three, two, one, and relax, guys. So what you do, come back onto your hands, lift that left leg off the ground, slide the right leg back now, and then bring your left leg forward, left leg forward, all in one motion. Bring it across the body, so the left knee towards the left wrist, both hands on the ground, and then from there, slide your right leg back, slide the right leg back. Try as much as possible, like I said the last time, to have most of the weight supported by your legs, so that you could nearly come like that there, okay? So I'm only balancing with my fingertips. I'm not putting all the... Don't fall over if you try and lift your hands off the ground. <laughs> Don't fall over. So guys, from there, so you're only balancing with your fingers, so the weight, so your legs are actually, actually actively having to work here. Now push that right leg back. From here, come down to whatever level suits you. I will spend about 45 seconds on this one as well, okay guys? Right down into it. Good work everybody, well done. Just nice relaxed breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. Just enjoy that position and how it feels around your hips. Do about 15 more seconds guys keep push that right leg back a little bit further if you can stay down guys stay down now slowly come back up so that sort of kneeling put that full sort of half pigeon pose okay so from here again if you, you may be sufficient to stay here but if you can you bring your right leg up you wrap your hand around, so you go around the inside of the foot if you're grabbing the ankle, okay? And then you're going to pull that towards you, and you're going to rotate your right shoulder back towards it. And just feel that working around all the hips, quads, etc. But you're still staying up tall, guys. You still stay up tall, whichever version. You don't have to go with the leg lift at the back, guys. You don't have to go with that leg lift. Good work, everybody. Last five, four, three, two, one. Well done, guys. Slowly come back out of that. Come back up. And get your chairs ready now, guys. Let's get our chairs set up for this one, okay? So, so you may need a cushion. You may need a cushion for your knee, but you may be okay, depending on how thick your mat is and how hard your floor is. You may, or you can just double up your mat and put your knee, one knee onto the mat, okay guys? So, very, very simply folks, okay? What's going, what's going to happen here is, I'm gonna put our elbows on the chair, okay? I've got my elbows down in the chair, and I've got my knee on the mat, okay? So elbows down the chair. So you need to be, you need to have one foot coming to the side of the chair, okay? So we'll go with the right leg, your right leg out to the side of the chair, and both your elbows are on the chair, okay? Now, if this is too difficult, what you can do is you can come up onto your hands, okay? Ideally, you want to be down on your elbows, but you can come up with your hands on the chair if you want, okay? So once you've got that all set up, okay, guys? 
what we're going to do is we're going to have our foot there and we're going to be lifting our leg as high as we can. Get our foot as high off the ground as we possibly can, everybody, okay? So stay leaning forward. So up we come. Hold it for a couple of seconds. Don't let your body rotate. Now lift that knee up and get that foot as high off the ground as you can. And back down, okay? So the right foot off the ground. So relax and hold it. Good work, guys. So when you come up and trying to hold it for about five seconds, as hard as you can. Now you need to be gripping that chair hard so your body does not rotate, okay? Good work, guys. Get that right leg off the ground as high as you can, okay? If it's too difficult, you can straighten the arms up and come up onto your hands, but try and stay in your elbows and your forearms for now, okay? So this is, this is the, actually the easy part, okay? We're about to make it a bit harder, okay? So the last one of these, come up and hold it for 10 seconds. Lift that knee as high as you can. Get that foot off the ground, okay? For six, five, four, three, two, one. Well done, everybody, okay? So pay attention to the next bit, okay? So this time I lift my knee up and I'm going to try and keep the knee high and I'm going to try and straighten out my leg to touch the wall in front of me. I'm not, I'm just trying to imagine I'm touching the wall, okay? So it looks like this. So I lift my leg up and then keeping it high, straighten the leg out and back in very slowly and then I drop it back to the ground, okay? So guys, really slow, guys. One repetition should take about 10 seconds, okay? So up you come with the knee, the knee really high, straighten out the leg, keep it off the ground, keep it as high as you possibly can, slowly out, slowly back in. Try and do not let that go anywhere near the ground, guys, keep it off the ground as high as you possibly can, okay? So up you come with that knee, straighten out the leg, back in very slowly, and back out, okay? Slow it down, guys, the slower, the tougher but also the better, okay? Let's keep it going, everybody, okay? Try not to let, just, guys, we're going too fast. We're going too fast. Slow it down, come on. Up we come. Back in, good work, guys. Now in the last one, we're gonna come out, keep the legs straight, and try and lift it as high as you can for 12 seconds, okay? When we get out there, with the 12 seconds start, okay? So guys, up we come. Straighten the leg out. Now lift it as high as you can. Let's go. Grip that chair hard. Lift that leg higher, guys. Come on, lift. Straighten it out. Come on, straighten it out. For six, five, four, three, two, one. Whoa. Well done, guys. Good work. So, guys, if you're doing that last bit properly, your legs should start to shake. You should feel your abs working hard, your hip flexor working hard, and your quads working hard. Okay, it's a tough exercise. Just so you all know, this is one of the ones we're going to do every week that we get stronger at it, okay? Weak hips mean sore back, okay? So we've got to strengthen up those hips. So we're going to go to the opposite leg, guys. Left leg forward now, every Left leg forward, guys, okay? Let's go. Same thing, guys. Just the knee forward. Just lift the knee up first, okay? As high as you can every time. Right up, guys. Make sure you try and keep the elbows and forearms tight on the chair so that the body's not rotating and compensating and bringing that knee as high as you can every time. Feel that hip working hard, guys, okay? Good work, everybody. Well done, guys. Good work, guys. Well done. Just two more of this one. And now, now guys, up we come, and you're going to straighten the leg out now. Up, straighten that leg out, back in, touch the ground. So guys, you must try and get the leg completely locked out. Too fast, guys. We're going far too fast through this, okay? Stay in those elbows and forearms, and take your time. Up we come, really slow. Get the leg fully straightened out, guys. Fully straightened out. Slowly back in. Keep it off the ground as well, okay? Let's keep it going, guys. Keep it going. Good work, guys. Well done. Three more, and then we'll hold it. 
Keep those abs tight. Keep everything really tight so your body does not compensate. Okay, straighten that leg out slowly. Keep it as high as you possibly can. Good work, guys. Right, last one. Come out. This time we're going to come out and hold it for 15 seconds, okay? We're going to come out and hold this one for 12 seconds, sorry. Three, two, one. Let's go. Out we get, guys. Out we get. Lift it higher, guys. Lift that straight leg higher. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Well done, guys. Good work. Just from there, going to finish off this series, okay, right, with a, ha with a hamstring glute one. One that we're probably fairly familiar with. We're going to be going in, sorry, with two more exercises. Sorry. Stay there. We'll do one more here, and then we go on to the hamstring one, okay? So we'll do a shoulder upper back one. Your hands are going to be on the chair, and all we're going to do is you're going to bring the knees right back, and you're going to drop your chest and your head down like that there. Sorry, I forgot about that one. So down we come. Again, don't pop your shoulder. Don't worry about going too low. Feel a good stretch into your back and into your shoulders there, okay? Make sure your knees are quite far back, okay? And we're just gonna stay down there. Nice, relaxed breathing, everybody. Nice, relaxed breathing. Deep breath in, deep breath in, try and go a little bit lower, try and go a little bit lower. And relax. Right guys, sorry, I nearly forgot about that one. Do you want to do one for the shoulders and the upper back? This one here, we're just going to do one set of these. You're going to bring your bum right in against it. I want your heels back towards the edge, but not on the edge, okay? Your heels, so bum quite close to the chair. Bum quite close to it. Heels, so your heels aren't way on it. So your heels are quite close to this edge. And all we're going to do is we're gonna lift up and we're gonna hold this position here. Keep the hips as high as we can. Squeeze our bum muscles. And we're gonna stay here for 60 seconds, okay? Right guys, ready to go. But I want you to pull your heels really hard into the chair. Okay, three, two, one. Let's go guys. Get the hips really high. Clench your bum muscles really tight. And away we go guys, let's go. Stay in that position. Clench those bum muscles really tight, everybody. Well done. Good work guys. Make sure you keep those abs tight. Pull those heels into that chair, everybody. Well done. 25 more seconds left. Hold it there, guys. Squeeze your bum muscles tighter. Come on. Don't drop, guys. Don't drop. 20 seconds. Stay up, everybody. Stay up. Good work, guys. Well done. Last 10. Four, three, two, one. Well done, guys. Good work. So, throw that chair out of the way. So, that was a little chair sequence that we will probably do most weeks, okay? Just to work on those hips and glutes areas, okay? So, we're going through a series of seven different stretches on one side or seven different movements on one side. You'll all be familiar with these, but... We're going to do it as a sequence. It's going to take about three minutes, three or four minutes on one side, three or four minutes on the opposite side, and then we're finished, folks, okay? So, we go. We go right leg forward, everybody, right leg forward, okay? It's our world's greatest stretch sequence. So, guys, right leg forward. Left knee back. Both hands down on your instep. Both hands down on your instep. Left leg up, guys. Left leg up. I'm just going to hold that position for a few seconds. I want you to really work hard and straighten that left leg as far as you possibly Straighten out that left leg. Lock it out. 
Good work, guys. Now keep that left leg locked out and push that right knee forward a bit. Push your right knee forward a bit more and stay in that position, this low lunge position for a few seconds, okay? Now from here, take your right hand off the ground, right elbow down towards the ground, bring that right elbow towards the ground, and then come up and around, so your face looking up at the ceiling, so you should be looking up at your hand, and then back down guys, let's go, right back down, try and get that elbow nice and low each time, good work everybody, well done. Two more. And then from there, we'll drop that back knee to the ground. Drop the back knee, flatten out your left foot. From here, you're gonna come up nice and tall. Straighten out that right leg. And now try and point your toe, straighten out the right leg. But we're gonna try and point that toe as well, okay? And then from here, we're gonna hinge forward into it, not crunch into it. We're trying to hinge forward into it. Keep pointing that right toe towards the ground. And then if you bring your hands to the ground if you want. So guys, what you're gonna do here is you're feeling this on the right hamstring here. But if you're really working hard to point that toe, you're also gonna feel it in the front of the right ankle, okay? So try and keep that right leg really straight. And really then, when you're keeping that right leg straight, try and get those toes to the ground as well. And feel the front of your ankle working hard to stretch out as well, okay? Good work, everybody. Try and go a little bit lower into it if you can. A little bit lower into it. Keep those toes point, get those toes towards the ground, guys. Feel that right ankle. Keep that right leg straight. And then from there, come back up nice and tall. And just push those hips forward. So push the hip forward. So you're feeling that left hip stretching now, you guys. You're feeling that left hip stretching. From there, take both hands into the air. I want your right hand to grab your left wrist. Right hand grabs your left wrist, and you pull your left arm across the right side of your body. So you pull that across, and feel that stretch up your left side of your body, okay? Good work, guys. But stay tall, you're still reaching up for the ceiling, but you're pulling the left arm across. Good work, everybody. And relax. Now, stay, stay there, stay there, stay there. You may need your belt or whatever for this one. So you're gonna go into your, your half kneeling quad stretch. You take that left foot up into your, you bring that left foot up to your, to your bum, but you stay tall, okay? So if you need, you can wrap, if you can't reach your foot, this is what you need the belt for, okay? And you can use a chair for balance if you're losing your balance, okay? So wrap the, the strap under your foot. And then you can pull with the strap if you want, guys, if you can't reach your foot, okay? Now pull that heel really hard in to the bum. Stay up tall, guys, stay up tall. We're still on the left leg, pulling that left foot. Stay up really tall. Don't lean forward, guys, you should still be up tall. Pull it a bit harder, pull it a little bit harder. And relax that down. And just the last bit of this, you may need a chair or whatever or a wall in front of you. You're gonna stay in this same position. And I want you to pull, just without, without using your arms to pull your leg, I want you to try and touch your left heel. You're trying to touch your left heel off your bum. Pull that really hard, guys, let's go. Pull, so I'm leaning against the wall for support or a chair or whatever you want. Stay up tall, don't lean forward. Stay up really tall and try and get that left heel to touch your bum. Don't use your hands, guys. 
Don't use your hands to pull the leg. And see the way, guys, I'm up really tall. You don't want to be leaning forward on this one. You want to stay tall. Pull that heel harder, guys. Feel the back of your leg working hard. Let's go for six, five, four, three, two, one. Well done. So that last one was for the hamstring there, guys, okay? So we're going to do that whole sequence again on the opposite side, everybody, okay? So you bring your left leg forward. So left leg forward. Both hands down on the instep, okay? Both hands down. We're going to straighten up that right leg. Straighten up that right leg as much as we possibly can. Stay there. Now push your left knee forward. Push that left knee forward. Keep that right leg really straight though. Keep that right leg so straight. Right, from here guys, you can lift that left arm off the ground. Lift that left arm off the ground. Slide the left elbow down now towards the ground. And then up and around. Good work, everybody. Really good, guys. Keep that right leg straight, though. Last one. Now slowly drop your right knee to the ground. Slowly drop that right knee to the ground. Come up tall. Straighten out that left leg. So we're trying to keep the left leg straight and we're going to point the toes. Normally we do this one, we have the toes curled up towards us, okay? But for today, we're going to go with this point, try and get the toes on the ground, okay? So from here, hinge forward slightly. Don't just crunch into it. Hinge forward, trying to keep the back fairly straight. Keep those toes point towards the ground. Feel that left hamstring working hard. If you can then, we'll reach the hands to the ground. Keep those toes, keep pointing those toes as hard as you can. Feel the front of that left ankle stretching as well, okay? Good work, guys, good work. If you can, go a little bit lower into it if you can. Go a little bit lower into it. Keep pointing those toes, though. Keep that left knee straight. And slowly walk back up out of that. Readjust if you have to. Drop the right, drop the hip forward now. Push that left knee forward and feel that stretch in the front of the right hip, okay? Again, staying up nice and tall. Keep the abs braced so it's not going into your lower back, okay? Good work, guys. Well done. Arms overhead. This time... Grab your right wrist with your left hand. So you're grabbing your right wrist and you're pulling that right arm across to the other side of the body. Now you're pulling it up and across. So you're still trying to reach for the ceiling. Four, three, two, one. Back down. From there, going to grab that back ankle. Use the strap if you need to, like the last time. Again, stay up nice and tall. Pull that, don't lean forward, guys. Try and stay tall. Pull that heel right up to your bum. Good work, everybody. Well done. Use a chair or a wall for balance, guys. It's not a balancing act, okay? So if you need that wall or the chair to allow you to the stretch, please do. Don't fall over. <laughs> Keep going, guys. Well done. Pull it a bit harder, guys. Pull that knee up, heel a bit harder. For five, four, three, two, one. And then for the last one, guys, it's going to be our heel lift on its own. So you're going to use a wall or a chair this time. Stay tall. Push those hips forward. So still keep the hips forward. And then try and lift that right heel to touch your bum, okay? So, guys, if you look at me, I'm up tall. My hips are pushed forward. I'm trying to lift the heel up as high as I can. Okay, let's go. Good work, everybody. Well done. Get that heel. Try and touch your bum, guys. Try and touch that bum. 15 more seconds. Let's go, guys. Let's go. 
Pull that right heel harder, guys. Get it up higher for six, five, four, three, two, one. Well done, everybody. Guys, great.